This tutorial is going to go over how to create additional cubes that when you put them together form the pieces that will make up your Endeavor cube. To start with, I already have a cube that's been created. I, in a previous tutorial, set the dimensions so that they represent the dimensions of a snap cube. And now, with all of that taking place, I need to add additional cubes to form my piece. The second thing that you'll need to do after you've already created your piece, which would be the first, is to come up to the left-hand side and click on Cuboid. So I'm going to select it. And what's neat about Model Maker, if you come over to the piece that you've already created, you'll notice when you hover, and that's just moving your mouse, you'll see four yellow squares and the crosshair will change from blue to red. When the crosshair changes from blue to red, that means you are precisely in that particular corner on that shape. And so we're going to add an additional cube to this side of the shape. And how you do that is you hover and you wait for your crosshair to turn red. Then I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to drag to the opposite corner, which would be the bottom right. And when, it, when the crosshair turns red, I'm going to release the mouse. And then I'm going to drag to the right. And you can see, um, I can't really see my dimensions, but I'm not really worried about that. And when I get something that looks about right, I'm going to click again. And now it looks as if I have two, one single piece, but actually if I click and select, you'll see that there are two pieces. So by using the crosshairs and looking for the four yellow squares and the red crosshair, you're able to make something that traditionally looks like one piece but it's actually two. The reason why you would want to do this and not do a copy and paste is because you can't be as precise in terms of sticking them together. If you were going to 3D print this particular model you would need that precision.